What's up guys? It's your boy Fix It Daniel and I got another fix for you but this time it's a review. I'm going to review the war pedal that I've had in my car for almost close to a year. Um, it's getting close to there. Actually I've got a little bit more, a few more, a few more months but um, um, I wanted to do a review on it to uh, explain what I've, what I've had and experienced in my car and uh, I'm gonna take you on talk to you about it, explain to you why I wanted it, and I'm also going to, uh, we're going to take it for a test ride. Um, so, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go get in the car. i got to go do some errands from further misses, so we'll go do that, and um, we'll go do that. So, why don't you come on with us? Alrighty. Mrs. is doing her schooling. So off to the car we go. Beautiful, cold, breezy day. So uh, let's get in this car and see what we got. Uh, all right, let's turn off the music. Okay, so hopefully you can see me. Um, probably got the All right, well, I wanted to, to do a VD review on uh, installing the roar pedal in my car. Try to do this one-handed. So, um, the reason why I wanted to do the roar pedal is because, uh, um, you know, I uh, wanted to, uh, you know, I want to do the supercharger, turbocharger like everybody else does, but... Uh, my Cadillac is an STS, but it's a V6. And then you could, I've seen videos on it being supercharged and it's a lot of money, a lot of effort. And, um, this is my everyday car and I love it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and go now. Um, I love it. It's my everyday car, but, um, uh, I really want to spend all that extra money. Um, even though, don't get me wrong. I love people who do it supercharged and they got the money that means to do it. That's great. But I kind of not net error yet I have to save up a lot just to do it and, and uh, trust me maybe down the road if I ever get to that moment to where I can do that I definitely will the kids plan keep careful of the kiddos so um, I wanted to do, add it to my car for some quick easy horsepower gain and feel and uh, I've loved it since I've added it um, if you guys look look at my videos on my channel, you'll see that see me installing it and showing the review when I was up in uh, uh, Northern Virginia doing it uh, on a trip. So um, I really enjoyed it. I've had some some issues with it, but nothing that's gonna stop me from it. Just a little minor getting used to stuff and some stuff I ran into. So um, so I wanted to do a video review and explain it to you guys uh, what I ran into, but. That's the whole reason why I just wanted something cheap and easy to install in a car, and it works amazing. And I've bought some power additives from like you know Amazon or um, uh, wish list, and they haven't really been working. And this one was actually really awesome, and I took a chance, a gamble on it, and uh, spent my own money. Uh, Roar Pedal's not endorsing me to do this, even though hey, Roar Pedal, if you want me to, hey, get at your boy. <laughs> so. Um, but for the most time, I'm just doing it on my own dime and on my own time and my own review. So, um, but, uh, yeah, it cost me about, about 200 and 250 plus dollars, maybe 257. Um, got it installed, uh, relatively quickly, um, because it works off of, um, throttle by wire and, uh, and it just, it, it's got, this is really cool. I like because it's got different settings. Now, some, some uh, pedal commanders and power pe pedals and stuff like that are going to be a little different in settings and what they can offer. Some have dials where they go from, uh, you know, zero to whatever their setting is. Some of them, like the power commander, has different budding settings. And uh, this one has uh, different settings, too. It's got an eco mode. It's got a uh, sport plus mode and a uh, sport mode and a race mode. And um, the, they all range from one to nine, except for the eco mode, eco modes, one setting. 
and supposed to save about like 5% on miles. And, um, but other than that, everything relatively works good. So, um, installing it is amazing. Um, I don't use it as often because, uh, one of the things that it, uh, it does is it drinks a lot of gas when you got it on there. And with the city traffic and you're in traffic, having the roar pedal on there is really, really sensitive. And, you know, you're not really going to be able to have any fun with this sitting in through traffic with the roar pedal on. So I only turn it on whenever I'm like going out of town on a trip on a, on a highway where it's nice and open or I'm going someplace on a, um, you know, a back road or, or if the re traffic's relatively not uh, busy, I'll, I'll put it on and just, just have a little small fun with it. So, um, so after getting it installed, I had to play with it for a little bit. And you do have to play with it because the adjustments are set. I think the adjustment set when you plug it in is about like three. So on all of them, so they're at say a three and then you can bump them up. So when I first put it in, I had it bumped all the way up to nine on everything, trying it out and everything. And it relatively worked great. But uh, after having it in my car for a good while, I understand that, um, and I guess you have to realize too is depending on what kind of car you have it in, it's not necessarily gonna work out too great. So let me, reason why I say that. Well, this is a 2006 Cadillac SCS V6, making about 300, 302 or 310 horsepower, which is not that bad for this kind of car. It's fast on its own without the roar pedal, but the roar pedal opens it up and livens it up and makes it really more, uh, really uh, more uh, uh, speedy, powerful, and faster. And some people like to race, and I'll put it on and just try to blow by them. Have a good time with it. Um, but um, the reason why I say that is um, if in this car, it's it was not meant to go that fast, maybe without not without some power additives. So if you put it in like a Hellcat, or some kind of high-end, really powerful car that's making like stupid amounts of horsepower, five, six, seven hundred horsepower. Yeah, putting a roar pedal in there is gonna make a, a jump of a world of a difference. Well, in this car, it does do that. It does make a world of a difference. It makes it go extremely faster than it was ever meant to go. But um, I noticed after it getting used to it, it was a little limited. And uh, I'd always hit the rev limiter every time I get on it. And the rev limiter on this thing is about like four or five grand. So uh, every time I would put it in like race mode on nine, I'd hit the rev limiter and my transmission would like spun out in like neutral, which was very weird, but it wasn't anything terrible. So uh, the rev limiter keeps your car from, you know, from getting out of control and blowing up and stuff like that. Keeps your car from, keep you from blowing your car up by just mashing on the throttle, letting it go all the way to red line. So, um, so the red limiter kind of limited that a little bit, starting off. Now, the only reason why I thought of that, you know, was because I was worried about the transmission. I don't want to mess up my transmission trying to mash it on the throttle and get some, get some up to going. But, um, but other than that, if you keep it at a low, low pedal crawl, it'll, it'll usually work pretty good. Um, actually I need to get over. So, um, so yeah, it, it relatively worked really good. Sorry, I'm sorry for keep tilting it up and down. I'm holding it and talking at the same time. I don't have a camera holder, so I'm definitely trying to do this and hold at the same time. But um, some people are good at it, and some people aren't, and I'm just trying to get used to it. So, um, but yeah, it for this car, in my experience, and like I said, everybody's experience is gonna be way different depending on what you got under the hood, what you got modified, whatever your car can do. So um, everybody, every car is gonna be different. Every experience is gonna be different. So getting all the way to the fact of, of the over revving. So one of the few issues I had was this hitting rev limiter. So I was thinking like, okay, I could just go buy a little program tuner and get rid of the rev limiter, which I probably might do later down the road. But, um, I know how to pedal throttle it to get it to where I don't have to hit the rev limiter. So I kind of know where to hit it. So I think I might be okay on that end. But I did notice one thing, and uh, I think this is one of the key things, is make sure your car is 
ready for a roar pedal. And then that, let me elaborate on that. The reason why I say that is I had experienced this in my car. Well, come to find out, I may actually have to hold tight. Come to find out, um, my motor mounts are bad. They were actually getting ready to go bad. So what happened is I had, uh, at, by adding the roar pedal, it made the car more uh, snappy on the throttle. So by me doing that and adding it to it, it actually shake, shook my motor mounts way more uh, worse than it actually uh, was needing to. So in an intent, in the end, my motor mounts were getting worse as I was using the roar pedal, did not know it. And um, it had a vibration before when I bought the car from my dad, but it, um, my dad just said it was just need to be, you know, it should need to be warmed up. And normally it would do that and go away. But as I kept using the roar pedal and getting on it and trying it out, it got made the motor mounts worse and worse to the point where they were completely destroyed. So I ended up having to replace it. Now I got them replaced and now it runs way more better. No more vibration, no more anything. The hesitation is, the, the shakiness is gone and I can get on it and it'd be okay. Um, so, um, so just FYI, make sure your car is ready for it. Make sure your motor mounts and everything and everything is good on it. Make sure your car is ready to handle it. You know, making sure your spark plugs, you keep your maintenance up on the car. Because if you use this on a car that's not well kept, I'm guaranteeing you you're going to mess something up. Even though they say that it does not harm your car. But I also think that it also depends on if you keep your car up. Depending on how good it's going to perform and how not it's going to perform. So just keep that in mind. Um, so we're going to go into uh, Amazon real quick and then I'll come back. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back. I had to go pull over somewhere after I left uh, the Amazon store dropping off packages for the for the missus. So I wanted to talk a little more about it and uh, driving was kind of, traffic was getting kind of crazy it's trying to hold and drive it. It's really kind of getting used to. So basically, um, uh, just make sure your car's with the par before you add it. Make sure you keep up the maintenance. Make sure all the bushings and stuff are good. Mainly more on the motor mount and transmissions and stuff like that. Make sure your mounts are good. I mean, that's just normal etiquette for any person that keeps their car maintained. But I just noticed that with my motor mounts being bad and me adding the roar pedal to it made it worse. Brought it out to light more because it was already vibrating. But then over time, it was vibrating a lot worse because... I had turned it up to like nine, trying to get the settings right, trying to get used to it, adjusting it back and forth, getting on it, and, and the flexing. And actually, I even tried, uh, I even tried this to see if my motor mounts were bad. I actually had tried flexing it like the normal way, where you put your foot on the brake and you give it a little gas and see the motor kind of flex, and you could put it in reverse, do the same process, and you see it. So if you, so for people who don't know how to test their motor mounts, a good way of doing it is. Put your car in drive, hold on to the brake, give it some gas, and you can see the motor flex. Now it's going to flex the left side. Now if you want to see the right side, you just simply put it in reverse, do the same process, and then it flexes the right side motor. So that's a good way of checking your motor mounts if they're good or bad, and you'll see it flex. Well, when I did that on the driver's side, it didn't flex as much, but when I did it with the roar pedal and then tried it, oh man, it, was, it went from, from like this, normal flexing, to this. And it was just like, holy cow. So I knew I needed to replace them. And then I did. And then link and there, there's another video I did on my channel that is um, for um, for the motor mounts. So if you want, like, if you like to check that out and see how they looked, uh, you can see it in there. Um, so, um, so yeah, just make sure your car's running good. Um, that's one other thing. Um, I did notice the, um, so, so basically uh, one, the first thing I ran into when I first installed it was um, it does not like you to change settings with your foot on the throttle. So if you want to change settings, take your foot off the gas. Take, you can still roll, but don't put your foot on the gas. So take your foot off the gas, make your changes, and then get right back on the throttle. Uh, that was the only other thing I, I experienced because my actually car actually cut off on the highway. And I had to, luckily I was in a, an emergency in an area I could pull the emergency lane and pull over. But yeah, that was kind of freaky. So it never did it after after I stopped doing that. So that's one. Um, two, the motor. Make sure you you got your motor mounts and all your your bushing components that would cause the car to flex and it is good. Make sure your car is running good in general. Oil changes. You know, make sure their spark plugs are good and everything that you normally put in your car, like 
like normal etiquette people tell you to do. Sun's sun, uh, sun's all over the place. But um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, I didn't had any problems with it. Like I said, it's got a bunch of settings, and I had to get adjust it. Um, and I that's that's the other thing. Um, when you first get it, it comes in at it starts off at three. You know, that's just where they probably leave it set it at. And you can go from three to nine. And then um, what you do then is you just got to play with it. Figure out, for my car, I had to figure out where where was it comfortable that my car would like it and not be so high to where I'm hitting the rev limiter and it's running out of control and it doesn't like it. Because my car was fickle. It didn't like it at nine. It would take it, but it was just it would, it would hit the rev limit if I mashed on it. But if I did a roll throttle, you know, let it get on like highway speed, and I was just passing cars and put it on nine. Oh yeah, it, it worked just fine. But it was just a lot of it was really aggressive, and I would only use that for like a track or if I was drag racing, take it to the drag strip or something like that. Then I would probably use nine all the way in race mode. But driving around the city and. Um, maybe they're on the highway and just having some fun with it to where you still got the power, but it's not too out of control. Um, so uh, I figured out the best way is, is, um, so in spray mode, I leave it at one. I don't go any higher than one, maybe go two every once in a while, but I'll leave it at one on race mode. Um, sport, sport plus mode. I usually leave it at one. I might go two playing with it but uh, but normally race mode and sport plus mode stay at one now sport mode I put it at a two one's okay one's you know not too bad you can still have some fun you still got the the um, you still got the throttle um, response there but two kind of gives it that okay you get a little bit but it's not too much and it works and I could use that for just driving around the neighborhood driving around the city and highway and stuff like that but um, if I wanted to get, you know, a little more revved up, I could just easily change it to, you know, sport plus mode or race mode and then have some fun. Um, uh, I've tried the sport, uh, the eco mode. Eco mode's good. It, it does, it, it, it doesn't, uh, give you throttle. It kind of more hesitates it just a little bit, makes the pedal a little more heavier so you don't mash it as much. But um, it still works just fine. There's not much difference um, um, in, in a regular pedal. So basically, you don't get that snappy throttleness with the eco mode. It's supposed to save you gas, not take away gas. Because trust me, on the other modes, I don't know about any of else's cars. I've changed my I've changed my fill filter, and I've put in cleaners and stuff like that. I kid you not, uh, putting it on Sport Plus mode sport mode and race mode drinks gas especially if you got a heavy foot like i do i got a heavy foot so if you got a heavy foot best believe you're gonna be paying some some serious gas and especially this car takes 93 plus so um i like to try you know with e85 one day if i could find a pump uh most of the most of the e85 pumps are not down here in uh the middle part of uh, virginia it's morally uh up in like northern area so um, maybe one of these days when we go up there, I might try to find a gas station that sells E85 and give it a try because this car can take E85. Um, it's got that flex, that flex uh, little module thing in there. So um, I definitely like to try that because uh, my wife's car's got E85 in hers and a uh, flex little flex fuel thing, and man, it makes a world of a difference. And I didn't realize it did, so I definitely like to try that, see how much more better performance I get. But um, all right, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for my review. Um, actually, I can show you. So this is the manual that you get. And uh, like I said before, you got a, um, let's see if you can see it. You got a uh, race mode, which is up top. You got sport, uh, sport mode, a uh, sport plus mode, I'm sorry. Then you got sport mode, you got eco mode, and obviously normal mode, which turns it off. So and then uh, the eco, uh, the sport plus mode, the race mode, and the uh, the uh, sport mode has uh, ranges from uh, one to nine. So and then it actually shows you you know how it gets installed. So basically, it's really quite simple. If your car has a throttle throttle um, pedal, it's really quite simple. You just take out the harness that's going into your pedal. 
Then what you're going to do is you're just going to daisy chain it. So basically one end of your, so basically one end of the roar pedal is going to go into your pedal. The other end, the, the harness that with the car goes into the box of the war pedal and then you just mount it and then, you know, there you go. You're done, you're ready to rock and roll. Takes no time to do it. A little hesitant, I had to take the throttle cable, uh, the throttle pedal off just to get it kind of fit. So you do have to do a little bit of fitting and stuff like that, but for the most part, it's pretty much straight. So you should be just perfectly fine. So, um, but right now we're going to, um, we're gonna take you for a spin. I'm gonna try to hold this the best I can and we'll give it a go. So. Just wait one sec. All right, so now we're back. Uh, I just had to flip it around. My phone does not let me flip it like it used to. I don't know why, but it doesn't. So right now we're in off mode. I've been driving in off mode for the for the past little bit and and um, everything. So what we are going to do right now is we're going to start with the lowest and then we'll go all the way to the highest. Um, so we're going to change this. Oops, sorry. So we're gonna hit the mode button. So there's, this is sport, this is, I'm sorry, this is eco mode. As you see, there's no numbers on it, so it looks kind of funky, so you have to get used to it, but it's really not that, it's not that hard. Um, this is race mode, and as you see, I had it on setting one. This is sport plus mode, and it's on setting one. And this is uh, sport mode, and it's on one, so, and you change them just by hitting a button. It goes all the way from one to nine, nine being the highest, one being the lowest. Um, so they'll be pretty aggressive once you start getting higher in the levels. So I usually keep this on two, just have a little fun with it. So right now we're gonna drive in Sport Plus mode and uh, we just go nice and easy because I do have a cap sitting right over there and I don't wanna get a ticket. So, um, uh, all right, so driving in Sport Plus mode. It's actually not that bad. Um, so the heavier you mash is um, the uh, faster it goes. So we are going to see I'm on sport plus mo or sport mode right now I'm on level two. Wait for these cars to go and it's quite snappy already. So, <laughs> so <laughs> It's pretty, pretty, pretty snappy in just sport plus mode. So um, we are definitely moving. So, and light is red. So, actually, let's see if we can get a wider view if I hold it this way. Yeah, a little bit. So, yeah, it's a, it's a little crazy trying to hold it like this, but um, get the kind of the gist of it. So, but it's a really cool, it's a really cool device. Gives you some fun to play with and uh, and everything. So actually we can go ahead and go. Actually, no, I'm thinking about it. So I'm gonna give it a little gas as you see. So you see it relatively gets up there real fast. And you know, I like it. It's 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 cool, you know. You can have some fun without supercharger turbo if, if you're, you know, if you're not that kind of person, you know, it also, it's definitely helpful for when you were like, um, on the highway trying to pass cars and stuff. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's relatively good. And, uh, it's just, it's just an awesome thing. Uh, it's definitely something I would definitely highly get. Um, I'll put a link in the description down below if anybody's interested. Um, so, and they also have a, um, an Instagram, uh, roar pedal. So definitely check them out guys and definitely, uh, give them a go. Um, it, and even if you have a car that is supercharged or turbo, if you really want that extra edge or that extra, um, additive without really adding like NOS or any other something to get your extra, cause you know, if you got a Hellcat, to make a 700 horsepower dude come on you add this to the co to your car oh man i mean you gotta remember the hellcat's already fast with 700 horsepower now try adding something like this to your car that opens up the throttle way more and you got 700 horsepower or a thousand horsepower or 500 horsepower doesn't matter so 
What we're gonna do right now is instead of me holding this thing, I'm going to go to a park or area where you can try a little bit more, so stay tuned. All right, guys, well, I told you I was gonna do a video for you at the park or someplace secluded, but I can't really find any. Pick kind of one of the worst times of day to do this. Everybody's getting off work. Uh, yeah, I live in a suburban neighborhood, so I don't wanna get uh, too crazy with there's a lot of kids and uh, people walking and stuff like that, so I'm just going to uh, uh, pretty much not do it today. Maybe I'll do a third video of me driving at like highway outside the suburban neighborhood in the city. Maybe get out a little bit further and uh, do an experience then. But for right now, we're gonna stop. Um, uh, just, I just wanted to ex you know, tell you about my experience of it and um, how great the product is and definitely get it. I will link a, I will link a, a link to uh, Roar Pedal down at the bottom. Um, if you guys are interested in it, um, uh, definitely highly get it. It's definitely worth it. Uh, even if you don't get the Roar Pedal, a Pedal Commander, or any other pedal power additive, I guess you electric electric additive <laughs> that you would do whatever you call it, is definitely worth it. Um, definitely do your research. I did mine. That's how I picked this one. Um, it was the only one I thought of at the time, and I did some research on it and did really well, and I ordered it, and I got it. So um, definitely do some research. Make sure it fits your vehicle. Um, we did have one bad experience. My dad tried getting it for his 08 truck through roar pedal, but they didn't. It didn't. Um, they didn't have it, a match for his. So different companies may not have a match for a certain vehicle. They should because they're all electronic. But in some cases. Um, they don't have it and it wasn't a big deal my dad wasn't pissed about it he just went to another company and got his pedal um, but then he decided just to wait because um, he doesn't really hardly drive his truck and you know it, it was just it wasn't a big deal for him but for me I really wanted it so um, if I wouldn't have got it from pedal um, um, power the war pedal then I would have just went to like pedal commander or some other pedal place that would have had it for me but this was the first one it worked and then I was super stoked about it so I just wanted to share it with you guys so all right guys well that's it for today um please like and subscribe if you have any comments I will always appreciate it I had a lot of people uh send me comments on my other videos and, and I, I really do appreciate the comments guys just send just show me your love show me that you like my channel it's like show me tell me that you like what I'm doing um uh, I always am I'm super stoked to hear from people. It lets me know that what I'm doing is, is mattering because that means that you guys are watching, you guys are liking. Um, I'm still kind of new. I don't have a whole lot of subscribers. At first I was a little, uh, but you know what? I'm just having fun with it. If I get more, I would love to have some more subscribers. So please guys, send some support, please. I can always use some support by you subscribing and liking and sending me comments. Guys. But thank you so much. I'm super blessed to do this. Um, it's been a long time coming. I've been wanting to do this for the longest time doing a YouTube channel. I'm glad that I have one. I have an Instagram. You guys, please follow me on Instagram. Um, I just, just super stoked. I don't, I don't do too many videos because I'm working. I got a full time job, family, wife, two kids. So um, my means of doing a lot of videos has really been limited. Um, where some people can have family and kids and do that, it just, it just works out. But. Um, it's really difficult for me to get them out because I, I spend so much time with my family and work. I work a lot of hours for what I do, so um, it's really difficult for me to get a lot of videos out, but I will get them out as much as I possibly can in the time that I have. So, but I really do appreciate you guys being patient, and I know I don't get a lot of videos, but I will try to work on getting them out as much as I possibly can. But thank you guys so much. for Please like and subscribe, and thank you for your support. Have a blessed day. Peace.